Hey everybody, welcome back to another Diecast Review. Today we are taking a look at our second car of the day. This one is going to be uh, Justin Allgaier's 2022 uh, Darlington race win from the spring race. And it was the throwback race. So you can see it is the throwback Hellman's paint scheme. Uh, but it's a first Justin Allgaier we've had offered in a little bit. So kind of nice to have that back. Uh, we actually looked at this box already in the Noah Gregson car from earlier this uh, today. So same old race win box. Uh, if you haven't seen that Noah Gregson one, you can check it out right after this one. And it's probably one of the recommended tabs. If not, check it out over at the channel. Uh, but here you can see the number seven render of that car. Production number over here uh 504 and um yeah that's kind of all there is for the differences on the boxes uh it does come with a couple of inserts it's not an autographed edition as you can see so it only comes with two things one of them being the purple race wind sticker here and it also comes with a race wind card here the mahindra roxor 200 hmm interesting uh, going to the back card here, you can see started third on the day, hour and 51 minutes, very short race, 150 total laps, uh, six cautions for 33 laps. He led 76 laps and won by two tenths of a second. Uh, so as we move down here to the car, uh, it is definitely, like I said, not a car we've seen a lot of. I think Hellman's being on the hood certainly helped this one get made. Uh, but you can see we got our throwback Goodyear Eagles here, uh, all the different chalk and markers, uh, or whatever you want to call it, paint, I think is paint pen is what they use, but uh, all the markings on the side of the tire there. We can see a little bit of buildup on the nose, but it's pretty clean. Uh, we got NASCAR Xfinity Series. We got our number seven here on the door. Uh, you can see the arrow for the jack. We've got the purple banner up here, which I'm still not a fan of. I know a lot of people have said they love it. I don't get it. I can't understand why this looks is a good looking banner. This car is yellow and blue and we have random purple in there. So I don't know. I'm not a fan of it, but everyone else seems to be. So I mean, hey, you do you, man. Uh, we got Hellman's here on the back. We can see the little jar of Hellman's there. Uh, looking pretty good as the nice throwback. Uh, you can see we do have uh, American flag, Exalta, and then I believe that's a Danny Earnhardt there. Uh, we go to the back, we got Hellman's on the rear, uh, rear bumper. Pretty wide rear bumper, too. You can see, like, there's uh, not a lot of markings or anything, but just a big, tall bumper. We got Hellman's on the deck lid. DIN number is two th no, 12, th no, 234, not 12. They didn't make enough for that. Uh, here on the other side, pretty darn clean. You can see a little bit of build up there right before the fender, but otherwise, it's pretty darn clean. Uh, once you get back around to the nose, this is where you'll start to see it a little bit more. You got Hellman's, you got uh, 358. That was a horsepower number they used to mark on the hoods. You can see the throwback bottle or jar of mayonnaise, and then you got Hellman's across the bottom. You can see all those little marks there across the hood and up on the, the top of the fender there. So, decent amount of rubber build up, but other than that, you know, you got a little tape on the grill, black splitter down below, but it's a pretty clean race when considering it's a Darlington one. I mean, that Noah Darlington's going to look fantastic compared to this. But still a good-looking car nonetheless. It is a nice way to get the throwback at least made. Um, but unfortunately for you guys, this one is no longer available. Actually, this one was a pre-order. So uh, we're just making the review and then getting it ready to send out. So um, if you are interested in it, you can ask uh, or shoot me a message for availability. I can try to always bring one in, uh, but I don't have any on hand to ship like tomorrow type of thing. So I can always get a hold or I, you can, the worst I can say is, hey, I can't get it. Uh, um, but I love trying to do that because it's always a good way to um, good way to make connections. I like to make connections with all the the different people I've met through through YouTube here. So um, anyway, guys, that'll pretty much wrap up the review of this car. Though it's a pretty solid race win. Um, so like I said, I don't have any left that I can ship out immediately. But if you are interested, shoot me a message on either Facebook or Instagram. That I'll always uh, try to work and and make sure I can get you guys something. So uh, other than that, thanks for watching, guys. This has been Race Craze, and we'll see you in the next Diecast review.